And we're back to learning HTML and this time I'm going to show you the output tag. You can use it to display the results of a calculation. It's a little bit more complex than the usual tags but it's not that hard to understand. You have to use a form as a parent, then nest inside input fields and then you need the output. It's usually used with a closing tag. And now let me just define a number type for my input fields. It's going to look like this. And to the right of it, we're going to display the output. So I add an equal sign. We can see it right here and the number will be displayed after it. To do so, we need to connect that. Now we need an ID for our input fields. Let me just call that number one and number two. And in our output in the opening tag right here, we need to set a name. Let me call it results and a for attribute that's going to use the two IDs. So in this case, number one, number two. So these are the values that we've used for ID in these input fields. It's still not fully connected. Or at least it's not visible now. We need to tell the form what it should do on input. In this case, we want to display the value of our results. And this value is defined as equal to the value of number one and number two. We have to use pass int for each, as so we want to convert it into an integer. So pass ins and in separate brackets number one dot value plus pass ins and in brackets number two dot value. And now it should work. So let me refresh it. And here you can see our result is now being displayed. And when I change the values of my two input fields, the output is automatically adjusted. You don't just have to use two, you can have multiples. So let me add a third one just as an example. So ID number three, I need to add it here in my four to connect it to our output. We already have it right here, but for now this is not part of our output as we need to so add it right here, pass in number three dot value so that it's added. You can obviously also use other calculations, so minus, for example. And you can also use different types. Up until now, I only have used number. Or we could, for example, also use a range. So the numbers work, and a range also adds to output. And these are the basics of using this output tag in HTML. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.